And, and you know, are they communicating? Well, and then functional medicine, that's what I do, is I'm looking at, number one, what's the biggest problem, and two, what's causing it? Yeah. Right? And so yeah. when you start addressing those things, then you can really, you can really and, change people's lives. And you're going to the root of the problem. So Absolutely. if they have hypertension, instead of giving them a, a, t a pill for right. that hypertension, you're saying, all right, what's causing that? Absolutely. Through blood work, through... Sure, and, and, it, and it's a matter of identifying um, things that most doctors are looking at going, eh, it's really not a problem. Okay. Yeah, because it's not a problem to them because they're over here. Yeah, Th this is the problem zone I'm looking at. And, and it's it's just like hyperlipidemia, high cholesterol. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we're going to give them a statin to lower the cholesterol because you know elevated cholesterol causes strokes and heart attacks, which yeah. is the number one killer in America. Yeah. Yeah. So the easiest thing to do is let's lower it instead of going. Well, what's the problem? What's causing that? So if you really dig deep, elevated cholesterol is an inflammatory marker. Okay. Which will lead us What's to... causing the inflammation? That's... Yeah, that's precisely well, that's the point. It. I saw a doctor who actually said this. He said, blaming cholesterol for the heart condition is like blaming the paramedic for the car accident. Thank you. Right? Yep. And, and that hit me. He's like, because what happens is, is every time you see a condition, you see a ton of cholesterol, and you say, well, it's got to be the cholesterol. He's like, if we showed up at every car accident, and you saw a paramedic, you're like, well, paramedics are causing it. And he's like, no, it was the inflammation yeah. that caused the cholesterol that, spike. That is it in a nutshell. All right, if you get on the scale and you gained a pound overnight, I am here to tell you with 100% certainty, it, you did not build a pound of muscle or a pound of fat <laughs> overnight. <laughs> Ain't happening. Yeah. I wish, because I lift weights, and I'm like, man, I would be fine. I did two pounds Yeah, yeah. I mean, it would be fantastic. <laughs> Not happening. Yeah. But what is happening is inflammation. Mm. So I, I tell people that don't get it. I'm like, listen, when you sprain your ankle, it swells up, right? Yeah. You're going to weigh more tomorrow with a sprained ankle than you did when it wasn't sprained. Yeah. So when you Why eat an inflammatory- like, How is fluid, that? It, it's the body's It's a protective reaction. mechanism. Yeah, okay. protecting. Yeah. So the reason your ankle swells is to protect the joint. Okay. So we swell it so you can't move it. It's protecting the joint. Okay. Well, w inside of us, when we're eating foods, all of a sudden, when you become inflamed, guess what you're not any longer? Hungry. Mm. Now, the problem that we have is people stay inflamed, and so they're programmed to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay. And they don't know what feeling good is, so like, I feel fine.